This is Mike Lewis and he's going to discuss today when and what time of the year you can trim your arborvita, your Leland cypress, and your cryptomerias. How you doing folks? Uh, the best time of the year to trim your arborvitaes is really any time of the year that you have time to with the exception of probably late winter. I mean, especially if you shear them too hard you're going to get some winter burn on them. Anytime they're making active growth is fine. Right now it's middle of October. Uh, would be a good time as long as you're not going to do a hard shear on them. Anytime you do a hard shear, you probably want to wait till late, uh, real late winter on that because you have to worry about sunburn. Uh, here I'm with the Green Giant Arborvitae. Uh, it's a bigger grower. You can see some of the growth we had on this tree just this year. Um, you want to fill this plant out a little bit as a younger plant. What you want to do is to shear it symmetrically all the way around. You can take off anywhere from 2 inches to 5, 6 inches off the tips all the way around the plant uh, to give it some shape to help fill it out and you can also use it to control the height on your arbor blade. As you can see I can reach up there pretty high. Uh, this one's my fingertips are 8 feet tall. If you wanted to keep this at 8 feet um, you could probably do that for quite a number of years by continually shearing the tops back hard and it'll have a tendency to broaden out on you. Uh, Cryptomeria you do the same thing. Nigra arborvitaes, emerald green arborvitaes, I would recommend just a little softer shearing on them uh, just because it's, it's a much more tufted foliage on there. Um, you just want to make sure you trim the, sh the tree all the way around symmetrically, get a nice shape to it, uh, knock your tops back a little bit. Uh, this way you can keep it in your yard for quite a long time. If you start out with smaller plants, you can go lightly as far as your shearing goes to try to get them up to the height where you want them to be. Once you get close to the height that you want to keep them at, then you start shearing them harder. What you don't want to do is come in and take half the top off, uh, cut real hard, cut back into way in here where there's no branches, no green. If there's no green on there, the odds are it's going to have a hard time leafing back out. So you always want to leave a little bit of green on your stems and you always have a better chance of leafing out. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Nope. Highland Hill Farm is located on Route 313, one and a half miles west of Doylestown. We're about 25 miles north of Philadelphia and about 20 miles southwest of Allentown. We're conveniently located on a major highway. We are open most daylight hours, seven days a week. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Highland Hill Farm offers a wide range of trees and shrubs for most landscaping purposes. We have small seedlings up to large 20-foot trees. We do deliver and install. We also ship on common carrier on our pickup trucks or we will load your vehicles if you order from us. We have many different programs for people in, in many different ways you can buy the trees. We can also supply bare root, potted, or bald and burlap stock. Besides trees and shrubs, we also have flagstone, and we also have hunting opportunities on our different farms and ranches. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.